Now let's start with our feature presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to today's presentation brought to you by the Society of Decision Professionals, which is entitled Insight and Resources for Decision Quality in ESG-Related Decisions. All right, well, I'm so happy to be here and to talk about a topic that I've really been focused on for the last five or six years uh, full-time and a little longer than that um, on an on a ad hoc basis. And over really the last one or two years, the, the interest and um, importance of ESG has just exploded. Um, the value proposition has become a lot clearer to people with the majority of executives um, in different polls uh, saying that it's become a major focus for them. Nonetheless, it's also a, a bit of a hot button issue with a lot of um, debates or almost tirades going on on social media and in, uh, in the business literature um, to the extent that, um, you know, I myself have had to take posts off the internet because it's gotten a little too, uh, too heated for me. So I'm saying that because I want to mention that um, the information I'm presenting is commentary. Um, I'm trying to share some insights and resources for people who are perhaps beginning their, their journey into ESG or sustainability. Um, in the last year, I've done a lot of teaching uh, around used into professional short courses. Um, and even when I run into people there, instead of saying, gee, why are you uh, throwing your career away to focus on ESG to say, hey, Carol, can you, um, can you get me up to speed on this? So, um, is my slide moving? Um, my talk will have three sections. I'm gonna give a little bit of an overview on sustainability versus ESG. And then I'm gonna use the decision quality uh, framework, the six links of the decision quality chain to share some insights and resources. And then I'm gonna conclude with uh, information about an SDP ESG special interest group that we will be forming uh, this year. Um, 